Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the by, uh, bypass feed tires on two different models here. Um, on this machine right here, this is a 330 AC. This is a relatively new machine. I'll be showing you on that one. And then I've picked out a 3505 AC. Now, that will go across the board for you know, the newer machines, the 4515s, and probably the, the 25 series. I don't know. I'm not positive on that. But uh, it should be very similar. These are pretty straightforward. They're kind of a, kind of a pain um, to get into, but they're simple in design. You'll have a clip right here that holds this in, and I generally will use uh, some needle nose to help me. And it's still, they make it so curved, but you just pop that out like that. It's just a little clip, just like that. And then this is spring loaded. You just press that over to the left. Oh, by the way, release your uh, paper tray there and that will give you some more room and then you just pop this out to the left now you'll want to have your finger on that white piece right there because on the inside there's a spring and you don't want that popping out losing that okay and then this also has two little holes right there well this one we go to put this back in that's the direction that it'll go right there so that it it can do a spring load, okay? Now, this roller down here, it just pops out. I mean, there's nothing, nothing special about it. Um, you can just reach in there and grab it, and it just comes right out, okay? Um, this would be the part that you would replace right here, okay? Um, and it's got little notches where it's supposed to go. And then right here on the end, there's a, a, sh uh, a shaft right there, notch that, that goes in right there. And this, like I say, this just sits down in there. Um, there is a flat spot right there. I'm assuming that that has to be down in the right spot. Um, but... This is where it gets a little cumbersome, but you just have to get it back down in those two little notches that it sets in. And that's why I find this kind of aggravating because I haven't really found a better way of doing this than just kind of dropping it down in there. And you just have to maneuver you have to get that notch back in you have to get this one lined up and then you just roll it and you can see now it's it's finally down there it's just it's just kind of a, just kind of a pain um, now there's a little hole right here Hard to see, but it's right there. Now you can now you can see it right there. Okay, and that's where um, this little notch right there is going to go. And you just put it in that hole first, and then over on the other side, you've got three little prongs and you just turn those until it goes up in there okay once you've got that in there you'll just turn this until you can get your little clip back on there that just presses in there like that okay now that's that one on the bigger machines now on the smaller ones um, it's very similar to the big ones. Um, this right here is just spring loaded and it just comes out real nice and easy. Now on the double feed prevention, 
there's a little clip right here that you press in right down here and then this whole piece will come up okay and then this comes right out just like that and then your double feed prevention roller will lift up and then you pull on it because it's held in like a clip on each side okay so when you go to put this back in there's a little little notch there a little notch there you just line those up and press them back in there and then this thing will be spring loaded okay and then you just put everything back make sure that you get this on the inside right there and you'll see what i'm talking about when you go to put it back in um it just needs to be down on the inside otherwise it will not snap in um, you can see what i'm talking about these things are kind of just awkward okay you'll just want to make sure that this blue panel is flush all the way from the back to the front okay if you've got that flush then you know you're in, you're in good shape and then just like before this is going to have a little hole over here on this side that it will go in and you will just put that back in okay and these come in a kit so you can just order the whole kit um and that's pretty much it that's all you have to do to replace the feed tires on the bypass of a toshiba copy machine